In this problem, you're asked to find um, the length BD, and you're given AB and BC. And this utilizes um, an important um, idea, and that is that there are multiple ways to write the area of a triangle. In this case, the most basic way to write the area of a triangle would be the area of the triangle is one half times the two legs, which in this case would be AB times BC. That's the area of the triangle, this triangle. We know what AB and BC are, so we can, we can calculate that very easily. Um, 1 half times 8 times 16 just equals 64. However, another way to calculate um, the area of a tri this triangle is to think about um, this um, picture um, and realize that this right angle means that BD is an altitude. And so another area formula would be air one half times the base, which in this, if BD is the altitude, then AC has to be a base, and so it would be AC times AD, or BD. Now, that is good because we know this has to equal the area of the triangle, which we've already calculated to be 64. So our final step is finding out what AC is, and AC can be found because this is 8 and this is 16. So using the Pythagorean theorem, we can find AC, 8 squared plus 16 squared equals C squared, and so that's going to give you um, 64 plus 256, which is 320. And when you take the square root of both sides, and I'll just do this quickly for you, the square root of 320 simplifies to 8 root 5. So that's 8 root 5. So now when you solve this, you get 1 half times 8 root 5 times BD equals 64. The 1 half and the 8 cancel to 4, so we divide both sides by 4 root 5. So BD equals, well, 64 over 4 is 16. And then we want to multiply the top and the bottom by root 5, so we end up with 16 root 5 over 5. This cancels to 16, root 5 times root 5 equals 5. So the length of BD is 16 root 5 divided by 5. It's a very important technique in use in a lot of different ways, but it's just recognizing that you can set the, find the area of a triangle in two different ways.